boys are reacting good. They're doing what I'm telling them. And uh, yeah, it's the good thing is we are not meeting the first time. So uh, most of the, the players know. We have some new players that need some separate explanations. But uh, as I said, for most of the group, uh, they have been with me uh, before all the FIFA and FCON windows. Um, what is now uh, paying off? Uh, it, it seems to, to many people that Djibouti is an uh, underdog, uh, the journalists, uh, supporters, they don't know what about the players. Uh, do you have any information about that team? Is it true? It's not a strong team comparatively to Abu. So, first, I have to say, uh, I've heard that you or some of your colleagues were talking about uh, beating them 5-0 or something like that. Uh, this is first very disrespectful and second it's nonsense. Huh? Um, it's, a, it's a strong team uh, because of some reasons. Uh, they don't have much players that are playing uh, outside. This means this team is playing uh, in all these FCON and FIFA um, matches uh, with the same team uh, and they also have made some good results uh, against some strong teams with players that are from outside. So uh, um, this team knows how to play with each other and uh, they have, as I said, uh, made some good results against teams where their players, a lot of players are coming from outside. So I don't know who is coming to the idea that this is a, an easy an easy job for us now. For sure it is not. And if you are just telling something like that, that uh, spectators are coming to the stadium to watch uh, a victory. Uh, I told last time, I don't need these spectators who are only coming if it uh, seems to be easy and it seems to be a win. Uh, these are not fans. I'm happy that the other guys are coming back. So uh, these informations are not helping us uh, and not everybody. Coach, uh, I know that you, you don't like this question, but the, <clears throat> some runners are asking themselves if the player like Madi is on the level who or he missed the Chan level. Chan Kora. Guys. Everybody or everything has its time. Also, I have my time. Uh, um, so, uh, for the moment, I'm thinking the situation is that I'm uh, looking for these players that I have invited. Um, I don't know what you are seeing when you are watching matches. Um, so, for me, the decision is not against Mohachi. The decision is for some other players. And uh, as I said, uh, this is not something against Mohachi. I uh, respect him. I, I, I also like him. Uh, but uh, this has nothing to do with uh, respect or liking. It has something to do to put a team together where I think we are uh, doing our best to, to win matches. Also, there is, there is a player you invited in the senior team, but also, he missed the Chan Korab year of what or um, Okay, Imabli, uh, he was with us in the last camp. Uh, he got injured before the last camp, so we had to uh, send him home. Uh, we have been in contact with him. He has just started training again. So, it, for me, this uh, doesn't make sense if someone is not really fit. Um, and then uh, I'm, I'm uh, picking, for example, these two under 20 players uh, where I'm sure these are players for the future uh, to give a chance to see them, to get, let them get in contact. Uh, the same situation more or less as with uh, Marvin in the last camp, um, who was also or was not fit and I wanted to see them. And also, it is giving a signal to all the other players in the uh, under-20 national team. If they are performing well, we are in contact with the coach there. And if the coach says, yes, they deserve to be invited, then uh, I always do something like that. Because uh, 
you remember maybe my first uh, my first uh, media session with you i'm thinking for development uh, and sometimes i feel i'm the only guy here in rwanda who is thinking of development because a lot of other things you know already i'm very unsatisfied with and uh, okay but i'm working for the moment and for the future and uh, that's why some decisions are going like that we get your answer about the idea because you say it's a disciplinary case no yeah. no 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 there is no disciplinary case uh, um, now didier is not playing on the position in his club where i normally need someone so he's playing on the winger position on the winger position i'm uh, i'm normally well equipped with the players i have so that's why the, uh, the decision it has nothing to do with uh, with disciplinary or something like that it's just that he is not playing a center striker now in his club and uh, and that's unfortunately for him any message for some of these Stars fans yeah i hope <laughs> i hope they are coming to the stadium and supporting us because uh, i think we deserve it uh, and it's not about winning or losing it's about how we are playing our matches and even if it's going bad uh, i think uh, we are showing good performance and every player is uh, fighting until the last minute and uh, i think this is something amabubi has to do and this is something the spectators have to respect and also to uh, to honor that's yeah. question because what about the the forward guys because many of them didn't score score goals in the league how do you see them here in, in the Uh they are doing well uh, um, scoring goals is never easy and uh, it, it has also something to do um, uh, how you or what kind of balls you are getting uh, I hope uh, our our teammates or the teammates of uh, of uh, these players are also getting balls to them that they can score it's not just uh, that you can take a ball and then you run through all the defenders and you score that's not possible uh, it's a it's something where the players and the team has to work together and uh, until now it looks good uh, i can't promise anything uh, but uh, players are motivated and uh, i think it uh, we have a good chance